My name is Rhapsody, welcome back to Slay the Spire, the Heartbreaker Runs, uh, the Heartbreaker Chronicles, uh, the Heartbreaker Ascension Runs. Alright, Silent still needs to do her A10, if I recall correctly. Yeah, Defect was the first to break A10, and then Ironclad did. Now he's still silent on A10. Ooh, ooh. A15 and A20 are going to be the real... Ooh, uh -huh. Hmm... You know, apparently sometimes I decide that, nah, words aren't needed. Sounds. Now, sounds are where it is. Uh, obtain a random rare card, a random common relic. Lose all gold to remove two cards. Now, one of the things we need to consider when we're thinking about Heartbreaker runs now, because I've played a run that uh, is the Defect Ascension 10 run. The successful one. Uh, when I played that run, we had Apparitions. And so we took a deck that had a long time to set up, right? It was all fine in the end, we obviously won. But what we discovered is that uh, after the first two times that the enemy does its 15 time attack, uh, it buffs ridiculously in terms of its strength. And then it had like a 12 by 15 attack, which we you know, survived with the apparition. Uh, but I've been warned that after that comes a plus 50 strength. So there's that. Uh, which means that a deck can't be entirely defensive for going for that kind of thing. Uh, so we are going to need much more offense than I'd previously been accounted for. Now, when I think about things that are going to be good as in silent archetypes against the heart, obviously the immediate thing that I think of is multiplicative scaling in Catalyst. So, I want to remove two cards here for losing uh, all gold. The reason that I want to do that is because the Silent starts with two extra cards over every other class. Uh, but also, to remove those two cards means that uh, every Poison card I pick up is going to be more dense. That is to say, I am going to draw it more often. The deck density of Poison increases by removing other cards that aren't. Poison. Okay, we've got Survivor next turn, which is good. Really rough not to get any attacks on the second turn and get all of them on the first turn, unfortunately. Because it means I'm basically bound to take damage. Yeah, we took two there. Ah, uh, mm, Actually, my next hand doesn't kill, does it? Damn. Or rather, it didn't kill if I uh, didn't use a strike that previous turn. Accuracy, Sucker Punch, Acrobatic. See, the thing is, I want to do a Shiv build. Because I haven't done a Shiv build in a while. But, can it beat the heart? Can it? The heart has beat of death. I don't have ornamental fan. Uh, shiv builds are typically more aggressive than they are defensive. Um, mm. I'm torn. Nothing's right, I'm torn. I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. I'm taking accuracy. That didn't fit inside the song. After an image and I can't take it, and a Sneko skull that I can't take, yay. More than happy to take a copy of Deflect. Already passing up Sneko skull. Hurts, definitely. Well, we'll see how it goes. Not super keen on the fact that absolutely nothing I could have done would have prevented incoming damage there. Okay. That's a very speculative pickup, by the way, on the accuracy there. I'm well aware of it. But Blade Dance is now common. It's a lot easier to get. Can't give me Noxious Fumes now. A special Relic. Alright, well... Bugger. We've got Noxious Fumes this early. We have to pivot. That means that Accuracy pickup was just complete garbage. Not to say that it wasn't before, mind, but... I don't know. Maybe they're good for different things. We'll see. We'll see what we can get done. I'm 
I'm actually just going to straight up pass that turn so I don't lose any health to pain. And then the enemy dies this turn. Oh, Kev, you can't, you can't do that. Now I have to choose, obviously, deadly poison, but still. 35 against a single elite. I can't do that. Not on this floor. Not yet. It's against the single buff delete in particular that I'm worried about. Mercury Hourglass is a ridiculous amount of damage over the course of a fight. I have to take that over the Sapphire Key. Uh, ah, you can't! You can't! You can't do that! I needed the card removal to get the pain out of my deck, but... Footwork! Footwork deflect. I have to. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm going to go for some more upgrades. I think especially with the pain already in my deck, I probably can't take down any elites this floor yet. When I say I can't take down any elites this floor yet, what I'm saying is I can't risk the different elites that could exist on this floor. I would probably be fine against Lagavulin. I'd probably be fine against the... Uh, the, 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 the Sentinels. Gremlin Knob would kick my butt to the sun. Two footworks. Uh, sorry, two footworks. One footworks. Uh, two deflex and a dodge and roll. Our defense is kind of well handled right now. Who's our boss? Uh, our defense is good enough that we're not going to need the HP here. I really wish that I had nine more gold so that I could remove that pain from my deck. Good lord, that would be good. Oh, well. Dreadful business, this. All of the ridiculous damage that's coming in this turn. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, since I was weakened, that strike wasn't going to be enough to commit a kill that previous turn. Great. And now we're fine. Now we might have needed the the previous healing, but I couldn't have expected that that space was going to be as bad for us as it was. I'm going to take a dash. It's just a nice kind of offensive defensive card. Ugh, but the thing is, like upgrading dodge and roll, upgrading deflect, upgrading neutralize especially is really powerful. I'm going to need to rest. If I take more than, what, 16 damage in this fight, then I know that that was the correct decision. I, in particular, I'm worried about these opening turns, whether or not I'm going to be able to get the Guardian down before they transform and attack. Okay, so I can. Uh, Noxious Fumes is obviously way more important to play there. Um, Bronze Thorns is likely to be played over the course of this battle. That pain does need to be removed, but like I don't really know if we were going to win this fight if we didn't if we didn't take the footworks. Mm -hmm. The poison's just going to build up. That's that's our win con. In fights where actually, you know what? I don't even I don't even attack this time. Uh -huh. In fights where the enemy isn't really scaling. Now, I do understand uh, because someone warned me uh, last time I made this statement. Technically, the Guardian does have scaling. And that's the, the amount of HP that it takes to knock them down uh, increases. So, yes, they do technically have scaling. But they're not scaling their damage. Right? And in fights with no or little scaling, uh, Noxious Fumes is just great. You just use it and wait. We took six damage over the course of that fight, which means that I was extremely wrong to rest. I should have upgraded a card. 
specifically neutralize. As much as I want adrenaline, after image is really powerful in terms of uh, countering the beat of death, at the very least until the beat of death gets buffed in the Heartbreaker combat. And especially with these two deflex, like we're going to be really, really capable of defending. Inability to upgrade anything from this point on. Fusion hammer. But it's extra energy. See, the thing is, it's not good yet, but because of this footwork and after image and with the extra energy and with the two zero, three zero cost cards in our deck, and actually, uh, we would take every copy of backflip that's offered to us. Invariably. It might be Runic Pyramid. Oh no, it's it's definitely not Runic Pyramid until Pain is out of my deck. I believe Pain retains. Because it's a constant effect rather than an end of turn effect. The end of turn effects like burns and things like that, they play themselves in order to trigger that effect. Pain triggers that effect every single time I play a card. I believe that that actually would work like that. Because I've seen Pain be retained in the modded series by the deck of holding. And I'm assuming that retain is retain is retain across the board. Uh, I could remove two cards. Yes, increases the density of the deck. But we can remove the Pain... As much as I want the extra energy, the inability to upgrade any cards past this point is brutal. We do still need those strikes in the deck. We need to be able to front load a little bit of our damage so that we can take out important targets. That's one of the reasons that the dash was so important to include in this deck. I'm actually just going to pre-block a little for the next turn. Ah, turned out to be the wrong action. Oh, well. Well, this fight could have been a little bit better, but you know what? It could have been a lot worse as well, so... That's good. Necronomicon is actually going to be a good pickup because of the dash. Another deflect. Though. It's too many deflects at this point, especially without any draw in the deck. Mm. We don't use enough attacks to really make benefit of having jacks. It might be transformed two cards. Obtain a special relic plus three strength on the first turn for this deck doesn't do anything. All right, I'm gonna transform two cards. Probably a strike and a defend. Play dance and prepared. Well, those were certainly options. Uh, heal 23 or choose one of 20 cards to add to the deck. One of 20 cards to add to the deck. I mean, poison's our strategy. Like, it's, it's going to be impossible for me to not find something particularly useful here. Uh, the things that immediately look at me are uh, Bouncing Blast and Bane, but also Blur. Also, Flying Knee is actually a little bit more powerful considering that we don't have an Energy Relic at the end of the Floor 1. For that same reason, Bouncing Flask is a little bit worse. I'm going to take Bane. It helps me provide some damage that we don't really currently have access to. I'll take Lantern there because I don't have access to enough energy right now and something that gives me a little extra energy on the uh, first turn. Especially when we draw two extra cards on the first turn, so we have more things we can use the energy on it seems particularly powerful to me prepared is upgraded uh right it must have been upgraded by the warp tongs by the way uh the start of your turn upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of the combat and lantern start each combat with additional energy feel like i didn't go through those before that's a solid 10 that i get to cop right there we do need some more draw in the deck. And by some more, I mean some. And by some more, I mean... Uh, uh, an amount of... Is it 
It's marshmallow. Yeah, amount of marshmallow crushed between two graham crackers. Got him. Oh, the second, the second nauseous fumes though. That's going to be insane in the collector fight. I have to take it. Okay, we need after image upgraded. Yeah, Book of Stabbing. This was the worst case scenario. That is to get a boss who scales uh, and scales pretty effectively. Uh, I could play Blade Dance here in order to get 11 damage in. But Deadly Poison is going to be way better in the long run. It just adds a wound to my deck in order to do so. Uh, because I'm not fully defending. Because I didn't play enough cards. Mm, six damage. Okay. Taking seven damage in this combat so far. Two wounds. Unfortunately, I have to discard this Ascender's Bane if I want to play the Accuracy. I play the Accuracy effectively because it's a wound in the deck right now, right? It doesn't do anything for me. Twenty-eight. I'll be taking nine damage this turn. You know, it's only gonna get worse from here on out. I'm gonna hold on to my uh, my Ghost in the Jar for a couple more turns. Okay. This is probably the turn for it, if I had to guess. Let's see, after we finish playing all of these. Seven damage? No, I'm already... I, I have lethal. Nice. Ornamental fan! No, it's a shift deck now. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, uh, gain four block. Dagger throw? Is a little bit of draw? No, I can't take for that reason. It's not card positive. Uh, this seems like a rest. It shouldn't have been. No, because I might get a relic in this position that actually gives me something when I rest. I didn't, but I could have. We have four powers in the deck. Third face turn is eight HP each fight. I'm, unfortunately, that does mean I'm probably locked into having to take the Sapphire next floor. That is to say the sapphire key over whatever relic we're offered offered in a chest next floor that could be a problem Begins. Play the survivor because I don't want to keep my curse in my deck. I want to let it get hit by the ethereal. Healing 8 HP a fight is no joke. And it is really reliable. By Mystic. No, with two Noxious Fumes, I think that's our AoE. We don't have a single Catalyst yet, by the way, which is... Uh, I'm keeping an eye on it. We'll see. Not, not particularly confident about that right now, but yeah, that could change in the future. A hundred percent blocked. Unfortunately, we don't have the Noxious Fumes out yet. That's actually a relatively low damage turn from the enemies, so I'm actually going to let them get that one through. It's only seven damage, whereas uh, this turn seems like a lot more damage, doesn't it? So that's going to be our Ghost in the Jar. Especially because that hand didn't actually have any defense. Yikes. Cool. 
Backliner is dead in the next round. Unfortunately, we will still be vulnerable. Cool. And we made it through that fight. All right, that, uh, that actually worked out pretty well. All things considered, that could have been so much worse. End the turn immediately. Matroshka, the next two boss chests. You open contain two relics. How's that, uh, how's that gonna work? Uh, leg sweep. Extraordinarily powerful defensive card. We already have enough deadly poisons. Yeah, we could use more deadly poisons. But we don't have enough energy to use them all anyway. Right, remove a card from the deck. That just has to be a strike at this rate. We're, a, we're now a poison deck. We are crossing our fingers pretty heavily for a catalyst because if we don't get one, I don't know if we can actually win. That sounds dire, and it only sounds dire because it is dire. I elected to deal lost, uh, less damage last turn so that I could weaken them preemptively for this turn, just in case, or, or the previous turn rather, um, just in case we didn't get a particularly good defensive draw. And then we didn't, so I feel kind of vindicated a little bit. Kind of a little bit, possibly. And we're all good now. The deck is too thick to rely on Warp Tongs to upgrade all of my cards, by the way. Just in case. I know that's the Fusion Hammer argument. There's the Acrobatics that we wanted. I want Backflip, but I'll take an Acrobatics, especially a pre-upgraded one. Unfortunately, both Leg Sweep and Deadly Poison are extremely important upgrades. That's pretty much how I wanted that turn to go. I just wanted to get a Noxious Fumes out there as quickly as possible. I'm going to kick in a little bit of my own damage against these Torch Heads. It's not, un it's not entirely impossible that I throw in the Explosive Potion as well. Yikes. This does not look good for me. the most defense I could get that turn. I elected not to go with the previous plan, by the way. As much as I want to play the dodge and roll that turn, I don't know if the enemy is going to be debuffing next turn. You know what? They won't be. They will be attacking. Won't... No, they're summoning. Okay, never mind. I was right to have not played the thing I was planning on playing. And this is when I'm going to want to drop the Explosive Potion, by the way. It's about as defensive as, can, uh, as I can be. Oh, we're still vulnerable. Good lord. I think we're actually dead this turn unless we uh, fish for something from the power potion to save us. And after image is the only one there that's defensive, so. Six isn't going to be enough. We live. And win. Good lord. That could scarcely have been closer. I need an energy relic here. If uh, if Velvet Choker appears, I probably still can't take that, though. Doppelganger, Grand Finale, and Unload?
I don't usually have excess energy at the end of a turn, so I probably can't take the doppelganger. Sozu. As much as I want the extra potions in the final fight, discarding two of my cards, especially when I have a lot of low-cost cards and very little draw in the deck, just isn't possible. We're going to have to hold the power potion basically until the absolute... Uh, until the heart, frankly. Okay. There's a path with exactly one elite and an early shop. That's, that's our path. That's certainly a turn. I need backflips. Not just one, not just two, not just three, not just four, not just five, not just six, not just seven, but two backflips. Us. Oh, I already said not two. Sorry, my bad. It was two. Obviously, you should have played the footworks first there. I didn't think I was actually killing that turn yet. <laughs> Accuracy. Catalyst. Had to take Catalyst. There's no two ways around that one. Uh, Pantograph. Start a boss combat heal for 25 HP. That's actually pretty good. Is it? Mm, maybe not. Orange Pellets. Whenever you play a power skill and attack in the same turn, remove all of your other debuffs. Uh, we actually do that quite often. How many debuffs are really going to be placed upon us, though? Yeah, this deck doesn't place any upon ourselves not early at least i'm actually i've half a mind to take the war paint nice uh because it's upgrading my defensive potential and uh upgrading our but defensive potential is particularly important i'm removing accuracy it's just not doing anything lachette okay that's probably gonna be a serious amount of damage in this deck didn't expect this to be another purchasing space. Would I have taken anything here? Well, laid plans, definitely. That's about it, though. Mm -hmm. I am more than happy to take this fight slow. damage there. Okay, so the uh, the gain from after image occurs after the card effect. Good. Uh, just a worthy thing to know. Should have played the footwork there. I, I keep forgetting that I have the birdface turn because I haven't used birdface turn for like proper healing for uh, let me just uh, carry the five forever. Let's do that sooner rather than later, because I will forget later rather than sooner. I'd love to be holding that catalyst. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the kind of thing I was worried about. Ugh, we didn't draw weakness. That's really bad. Oh, no. We didn't draw any weakness. I, I just have to defend as much as I can. I really wanted to get Noxious Fumes out that turn. I was looking. The dig there was so that I could try and find Leg Sweep, which was literally the bottom card of my deck right there, because of course it was, because of course it was. Prepared is going to have one good effect in that it's going to help me cycle through the burns and wounds that are put in our deck by the final boss of the game. Blur would be a huge boon to this deck. I would still like it. Yes, I did turn it down earlier. That doesn't mean I don't want it. Okay. 
rules. Well, it ends well right there. Singing bowl? When adding cards to your deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. Backflip. Has to be. I know Caldrops is good on the final boss. Uh, if we don't take backflip, I'm worried we already lose. So I get Tiny Chest. Uh, I have to take Sapphire Key. Yeah, okay. So then I also get Tiny Chest. Uh, gain 30 gold. Your 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. Hopefully we do again so we get the second charge of Matroshka off. We've got Donu and Decker in the final fight and exactly one catalyst, so... Hello, Blur. No two thoughts about that one. That's Blur. I want to make backflip like a really good defensive play that just happens to draw some cards. Do I go for another elite? So we just fought uh, Nemesis, which means that we can't fight the Nemesis game. We would have a lot of difficulty with the Reptomancer. I can't go for another elite. Do I take Panache? Heals for two. I definitely trigger Panache like most turns. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be particularly good in the Donu Decker fight, at least. If nowhere else, it'll be excellent there. Although, it will also be excellent everywhere else. It doesn't outrank either of the cards that I had in hand, though. I needed my defense. I say needed like it's past tense. I need my defense. little more focus to throw on that frontliner, but other than that, we are all good. Another power. Should be no powers left. Good. Maximum healing. Explosive potion. Mm, calculated gamble prepared. Second prepared. Second prepared. I don't think we can put the second prepared in the deck until we have like another acrobatics or another back flap. Has to be rest, unfortunately. All right, Donu Decker. Show me what you got. That's a lot of damage right there. Deadly poison doesn't mean anything until I have the artifacting down on the enemies, and I'm probably just going to be removing all of the artifacting over two turns with. A noxious fumes. It's too important that I generate the footworks that turn, even if I'm not going to be able to defend myself properly this turn as a result. Because then I can defend myself properly on other turns that I otherwise would not have been able to defend myself properly on. They're scaling. They're scaling. It's too early to play a catalyst, unfortunately. Hard decision not to play Blur there. Would have kept like eight block from you next turn. But I'm really gonna have to focus my damage on the back line because the, da uh, the back line is doing all of the buffing here. 
So basically, my catalyst is earmarked for Donu. We've actually got a serious amount of block in this upcoming turn. Thank you, Blur. Backline is dead before they get their next buff off. Oh, that hurts, though. It's the Hurts Donut. <laughs> Hurts, don't it? Sorry. Doesn't work in uh, in in my accent. Now I know I've got catalyst in the next hand, so we're all good. But that's a lot of HP to be missing. Bye, Deco. As I clear my throat there, and to thump, to thump, to thump right back at you. Not going to be able to do anything in this upcoming shop. Last time I made that claim, um, well, actually, I might be able to purchase something. It would have to be on sale, though. Last time I made that claim, not going to be able to do anything in this upcoming shop in particular. I'm actually going to rest. I'm that scared. It's 11 HP, but sure. Bane? No, I need all of my defensive cards. I need to draw it. Like, I would love to take a medical kit, but I need all my defensive cards. Anyway, last time I made that claim, uh, the counter claim was made. No, you could. Ooh, no, this sucks. So much. I have to do that just so I can turn around. Whoa! Huh? Again, have to do that so I can turn around. I'm amazed I was capable of fully blocking that turn. 57! Come on! What is this? Again, I have to turn around there. I'm saving the power potion because I think if I don't save it for the final fight, I'm just dead. I will lose that final fight. I just set them both up with weak. These things are very powerful. More than happy to readily admit that. Good lord. Yeah, we're dead this round. Right. So 18, uh, if we're attacked from behind, we take 50% more damage. So 18 plus 15%, uh, 50% is plus nine, so 27. Uh, and then the 11, 22. I mean, it's, it's just, the rounding is different, right? Because it's five and five on the Spire Spears side. So they increase their damage by 10 if I'm not facing them. No, wait, but they are, they, that, they are attacking from me, me from behind. So hang on, what gives them that? amount seven three oh but they also have strength and weakness i'm never going to know if that's applying in the right order or the wrong order for me all right so i'm gonna have to leg sweep this way and then hit back in the other direction i lost eight damage on this side and increased nine on the other side so overall made a fail small but still All right, give me... Yeah, all right, there's Wraith form. So we get to live until the boss, and then we lose.
That's really... Ugh. Well, at least we got to the boss. Centennial puzzle. Uh, sure, I'll take a dodge and roll. After rooms, then leg sweep. Nash, noxious fumes, weaken you for a billion turns, give myself some block for the next turn. Cross my fingers and hope. Yes, that's 30 incoming damage. And we can defend for... Not enough. We're already dead. Great. That was a close one, though. <laughs> if you close your eyes in the final moments. For the moment, though. Yikes. Uh, Spire Shield and the Spire Spear would have been a lot easier if I had a Red Mask or a Bag of Vulnerability. Uh, either of those would have removed their artifacting on the first turn, which means that the poison that I applied to each of them uh, in order to effectively rotate my character uh, would have better helped us uh, instead of not helping us. For the moment, though, my name is Moon Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spy. Looks like the silence is probably going to lag behind the other two in terms of success in the Heartbreaker series. Hopefully, you've been... Excuse me. Good Lord. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.